Former French Open champion Yelena Ostapenko is now battling to save her career after the decision from the Latvian government. Former French Open champion Yelena Ostapenko has vowed to keep fighting for her career after having her state funding cut by the Latvian government. The 25-year-old, who beat Coco Gauff en route to the quarterfinals of the Australian Open this year, has broken her silence following the controversial announcement by her country's Olympic Committee. After holding talks with the Ministry of Education and Culture, the authority confirmed Latvian athletes would have their funding cut if they competed in events alongside Russian and Belarusian players. The sanction seems particularly harsh on the likes of Ostapenko, who have no control over who is permitted to enter tournaments. Thus far, only Wimbledon have imposed an outright ban on Russian and Belarusian players, a decision that sparked a divided reaction last year. As a result, the tournament was stripped of its ranking points, while other event organizers have forced them to compete as neutrals. Ostapenko isn't the only tennis player from her nation affected, with Daniela Vismane and Darja Semenistaha also set to be penalized. And the world number 10 has broken her silence on the saga that could profoundly affect her career. This is my sport, she told women's tennis blog. Of course, they contacted me, but to be honest, I can't really influence anything because I don't organize tournaments. The WTA organizes these tournaments and I don't have the opportunity to play elsewhere. Basically, it means that I cannot play in any tournament. I have to quit tennis. I will not do that because I am a tennis player and this is my sport. Unfortunately, that is the reality. The star rose to prominence in 2017 when she became the first unseated female player to reach the final at Roland Garros for 34 years. Furthermore, she was the first Latvian player to reach a Grand Slam final. There, she stunned Simona Halep, coming from a set down to prevail. A year later, she reached the final four at Wimbledon, losing to eventual winner Angelique Kerber.